hope you're all fine. Uh, again, this is Social Suite uh, on other IoT tutorial. Uh, in this video, we are working on the keypad. The keypad, uh, for example, you can use a keypad to enter the password for that, you know, to open a door or maybe to unlock a safe box. So there are a lot of uses you can use this keypad. So let's create a new circuit. Okay, so um, you can give a name. I can type uh, membrane keypad. The components you need, the first thing you need an Arduino board. This is the board. A blank board. And then you can add the keypad. This pen. We can use this here. Okay, so we have uh, added our component. This is the row, uh, these four pins uh, on the left side. Row one, row two, row three, row four. There are four rows, uh, uh, four columns and four rows. So let's connect them to our board. Column four, we can connect it to Pin number two and this one you can connect it to pin number three pin number four and uh, pin number five now we are connecting the rows to pin number six let's change the color to say purple row number three to pin number seven color purple Okay, so we have connected this one and now we just can go and program. We just delete the default codes here. About the keypad, uh, the thing is that uh, we don't have blocks yet to use. For many other input, uh, input components, we have the input and output blocks here. So when we drag and drop the blocks, the code will be generated automatically, you can see here. But uh, for this one, we don't have any blocks, so we need to write the codes by ourselves. But uh, the code is not the coding is not that complicated uh, compared to the past. There are a lot of libraries here. You can import the libraries and you can use them. You can see here it is the library uh, for the keypad. So uh, when I click here link to the documentation continue it will directly go to the explanation part for the this keypad how to use and how to program so you need to read these things and or simply you can uh, uh, find an example and you can copy these codes and you can edit examples and you can bring it here and you can just paste that out. This is a simple code and uh, you can edit based on your needs. You can see uh, this is uh, about the rows, how many rows we have. We have how many, we have four rows and we have three columns. Actually here we have four columns so we change it to four. And uh, this is the matrix, how it, it looks. So now we have one, two, three. And A, we can add one more, comma, uh, A. Uh, same case with all of them. And you can just add it based on your needs. Uh, regarding uh, this specific design, I have already typed the code. So I delete all of them. And uh, I open my notes, but here I already typed the code. Let me see. Yes. I just copy these codes. 
Okay, so I copied the codes. This code uh, is available, just check the description. Here it is. Let me explain it, how it will work. First of all, it is uh, about how many rows and columns we have. We have four rows and four columns. Okay, and this is the matrix, uh, how it is. We have one, two, three, A, and four, five, B. This is exactly the same. And here we have this asterisk. Instead, I used S and H. And uh, here we have the pins which are connected for example the row pins is connected to 9, 8, 7, 6 these are the row pins 9, 8, 7, 6 and these are the column pins which are connected to uh, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2 and the next thing is that we have created a variable here uh, let's uh, say, for example, we are using this one, this keypad, to open a door, to store a password, to open a door, or maybe to open a safe box. So simply, we have created a variable, and the second thing is, uh, for the output, I have used the serial monitor. Here, this is a serial monitor, which displays the result. just to explain and if you scroll down and here we are just typing the password and we have used an if condition here several if conditions the first one is uh, let's say if key equals to a serial print enter the password when uh, let's say you want to open the the door just you need to click on a then it will ask for the password and then uh, if someone press D after typing the password then D is like let's say an enter it will validate the password uh, we have given a specific password for example if the password is uh, equals to 15090 or let's say 1590 then uh, access granted then print access granted or else uh, serial should print the access is denied this is just a simple uh, example of using the keypad. This is a blank keypad and this is the blank door. You can use and you can program them uh, to make uh, smart devices, to make a smart door, to make uh, whatever you need and whatever you want. Okay, so uh, let me start simulation. Simulation is started. Now I uh, open the serial monitor. I press, for example, A. Okay, I press A. It's asking for the enter the password. I'm just typing the password and press D. Validate the password. Access denied. The password is wrong. And the password we have specified here is. And I'm typing 5. 8, 9, D. Yeah, access granted. So, uh, this is how you are using the keypad and your programming. And it's all for today. Thank you very much.